Let me show you how to set up donations for your Twitch stream. We're going to be using Streamlabs donation system, which I'll leave linked in the description down below. But don't worry if you're using OBS Studio or Twitch Studio, you don't actually have to stream through Streamlabs. We're just going to be using their donation widget. So once you're on their website, we're going to click log in at the top and we're going to log in through our Twitch account so we can connect our Twitch account to their donation system. And the cool thing about setting up donations like this is that you don't even have to be a Twitch affiliate in order to start making money. You can start making money on day one of your stream. So once we're logged into the dashboard, we're just going to go to the search bar at the top and type in donation, and we're going to go to donation settings. Now we have a bunch of different options here. So you can see that we have an option for PayPal Plus, PayPal Lite, and credit card methods. I'll be showing you how to set up a business PayPal account, because if you use a personal PayPal account, donators will be able to see your first and last name on their statements. And we don't want that. So if we use a business PayPal account, we can connect it to the PayPal Plus option, and it'll hide our information as well as being able to let credit card donations and even Venmo if you're in the United States. So let me show you how to set up a business PayPal account. But real quick, before we do that, if you guys want to take your stream design to the next level, you got to check out my favorite place to get things for my stream. We're looking at own.tv, which I'll leave a link in the description down below. But you can see they got different alerts you can get, panels, banners, emotes, sub badges. You can see my favorite thing, which are their stream design bestseller overlay packages. And you can see they got a brand new one for the new Diablo game that just came out. And you can see in this package, you get everything included. Animated alerts on the left hand side for your followers subs and everything you got all these cohesive panels in the bottom left that you can put beneath your twitch stream you get all these different options for webcam overlays and all of the different things included so if you guys are interested in spicing up your stream i'll leave a link in the description down below where you guys can get started but let's head over to paypal so if you're in the united states this should look pretty familiar if you're in a different country it might look a little different and the steps may be a little bit different for you but we're going to click the sign up button sign up for a new account and we're going to be greeted with two different options basically the difference in the context of streaming is that a person personal account is way easier to set up. However, your donators will be able to see your first and last name, which streamers hate, including myself. So I'll be showing you how to set up a business account, which is a lot more difficult, but it'll hide all your information. But if you get frustrated and want to give up and do personal instead, then I'll leave a video in the top right corner showing you how to do that. Also a disclaimer that I am not a legal or tax expert. So this is not legal or tax advice. I'm just simply showing you what I did and what worked for my channel. So take all this information with a grain of salt and make sure to do your own research. I'd also like to point out that I absolutely despise PayPal. But unfortunately, in the streaming world, PayPal is the number one integrated thing to be able to do your donations for. So unfortunately, we're just gonna have to deal with it. But once you've clicked on business, we're gonna click get started. So this is where we're gonna have to put in our legal first and last name as well as an email address and password. You're gonna have to actually put your first and last name here because PayPal is gonna need it for tax purposes, but your viewers will not be able to see this info. I'd also like to mention that I'm pulling a lot of my information from Streamlabs official article on this. So if you want to cross check me or if something I said is incorrect, this is the information that I pulled it from, which I'll also leave linked in the description down below. So don't shoot the messenger. Keep in mind that for your email address, your viewer will be able to see this because this is what they're going to be donating to. So if you don't want them to have your normal email address, you can make a free Gmail address that you can use for just PayPal if you'd like. So once you have all of your information in, we're going to click agree and create account. Now we're going to click on get verified. And if you're in the United States, you're going to have these two options here. If you're in a different country, I'm sorry, I'm just a dumb American. American. So I don't know what options your countries are going to have. So Google is your best friend. But if you're in the United States, chances are you're going to pick sole proprietorship. And that just means you're just an individual. However, if you have an actual business and you're an LLC or anything else like that, you're going to choose company. Now, as far as I'm aware, this is the legal information that PayPal is going to be using for the tax records and not actually displayed to your donators. However, the business name is what's going to show up on the credit card statement. So that's what's going to show up. So your business name is going to be your kick account name or your Twitch name whatever streaming service you're using. And if your username isn't available, if you're on Twitch, you can do TTV at the end or you can do kick at the end. So then this is the name that will show up on their credit card statements instead of your actual name, like a personal PayPal account does. For your phone number, you can use your real phone number because as far as I'm aware, this is just for PayPal. And there's a workaround for this if you don't feel comfortable giving your regular phone number. You can actually use a free Google Voice phone number, which you can get by just using a Gmail account and your regular phone. And using those two, you can sign up for a free Google Voice account which will give you access to a new phone number that you can use for all the different options. So that way you don't have to worry about anything. So if you want, I'll leave this also linked in the description down below as an added layer of security for you guys. Then you can put in your home address and then click on save and continue. Now this is the part that a lot of people get tripped up and I personally hate. We are definitely a for-profit, so leave this part unchecked. But if you go and type in stream under here, you see Steamship and cable satellite and other paid television radio streaming services, which doesn't fit streaming at all really. But unfortunately that's 
that's the closest thing that we can find. You can cross check that info on Google and Reddit. And that seems to be the consensus on what we should use. But if you have another suggestion, leave them in the comments down below. I'd love to know. For your monthly sales, if you're just starting out, chances are you're going to make between zero to $5,000. And you can change this later. So just put an estimate. I'd say zero to 5,000 is fine. Does your business have a website? You could put your streaming page, so your kick page, or your Twitch page. But I think this is optional. So you can click no and just not worry about it. Once again, I'm not an expert in this field. I'm just showing you guys what I did. And then we're going to uncheck this debit MasterCard because we're poor enough as it is. Then we can click on save and continue. By the way, if you want more helpful streaming videos like this, make sure to drop a like on the video so YouTube recommends more of me to you. Now we're going to have to put in our social security number, our date of birth, and our home address again because once again, this is for PayPal's end for tax purposes. Then we're going to click on the submit button. You might get hit with something like this. Chances are you might not because I'm putting in bogus information for this video. So just reconfirm what they're asking for and then click submit. If they ask you to upload documents, you can just put a photo ID of your passport, driver's license, or other government ID. Then you can just drag and drop the file here, then click done and submit. Then we can click OK. Then they need to verify our documents. If you get asked for contact information for customer support, this information your donators will be able to see. So you can just put your regular email if you don't care or new Gmail. But the customer service phone number, Streamlabs has a workaround for that in this article. It says you can use this dummy phone number if they make you put it in and then you can remove it by following the steps in this article, which is linked in the description down below. But as you can see for our signup process, we didn't get hit with any of that. So maybe that's optional now, unless our account got flagged for putting in phony information. I'm not really quite sure. But basically just do all the verification stuff, verify your email, and then you can simply link a bank account. So that way you can actually get paid this money from PayPal. One of the reasons that I absolutely despise PayPal is because a lot of people get their accounts limited and there's no good way to talk to customer support about it. The best workaround I've heard is contacting them through Twitter of all places, right? Isn't that dumb? But I've heard that has the highest success rate in case your account gets limited. So if that happens to you, hit their Twitter up. It's really stupid, I know. So now that we've created our PayPal business account, we're gonna go to the PayPal Plus option. So we're gonna click on the connect button and then we're gonna click connect again. Surely we're not robots, right? Now we're gonna put in our email address that we just made, click next. It's gonna have us log in since we already made one. So we're gonna log in with that information. Now we're gonna click use existing business account and click next. We're gonna reuse all the info that we have here. I'm going to click no on the website. I'm going to put the email for my customer service email, and we're going to put in the customer service phone number that Streamlabs gave us on the website. So I'm just going to make sure that all this is correct. For some reason, it switched it over to books for me, so I switched it back. Now we're going to click next. We're going to put in all of our legitimate information here, and then we're going to hit agree and continue. You can choose if you want to set up chargeback protection or fraud protection. So if you want to look more into that, you can do your own research. But for right now, we're just going to skip it, and we're going to click I'll do this later. Now it says thank you for choosing PayPal as your payments provider, and we're going to click go back to Streamlabs. Now it says your PayPal account has been connected. Your account is set up to receive tips through PayPal. Now we can remove the customer service number from our PayPal account by clicking take me to PayPal settings. I have my actual phone number right here as my mobile and primary. Since we have two phone numbers, we can remove the customer service number by clicking remove. And if you didn't have a number here, you can use that Google voice trick I showed you. But since we have two numbers, I'm going to remove that dummy number that Streamlabs gave us. Now we just have our primary phone number, which nobody can see. So now we can click on I remove the customer service number number and you can see that our PayPal plus has now been connected. I used to use PayPal Lite, which is why you saw that I had the credit card set up. So I actually just disconnected that. So now all I need is the PayPal plus option, which is what you have now. So now you can take this little URL right here. You can click on it. It'll copy your URL. And this is what you're going to give to your viewers, whether you want to put it in your chat bot or in a panel underneath your stream. But this is the web page that it'll take your viewers to. They'll put their username in how much they want to donate. So if we try and put a donation through, we can click donate and then it'll prompt your viewer with the option of donating through a credit card or through a PayPal account. So that way you got more options to make some more money. And if you want to customize your donation page, you can just go back to your donation settings, click this little pencil icon next to your URL and then click continue. And you can go through all these different tabs to change the design and everything else you'd like to change about your donation page. And if you want your donations to appear on your screen in an alert setting, then you'll just go over to the alert box on the left and you'll go to the donations tab. And then you can customize your donation alert here. And if you're using something else for your donations, like stream elements or a different service, then you'll just go through all of these other options here, like follows, and then you'll click on disable. So that way you don't get a double alert when someone follows you because you only want to use the donation section, which you'll leave enabled, but you'll go and disable all the other ones. Or if you just want to switch to Streamlabs alerts for everything, that would probably make it easier. And so in order to get this alert box to show up over your stream, you'll just copy this widget URL under alert box and you'll post this in as a browser source in OBS Studio, Twitch Studio, or whatever streaming service you're using. So if you guys want to say thank you, I'll leave my donation link in the description down below. But you can watch all my other Twitch tutorials to the side of me.
me to help your stream out. But my name's Cody, and I'll see you in the next one.